Now, this is the fourth boss. It's called the Korak. Actually, that's the thing that the guy rides. The thing on top is the Korak Rider, who's really easy to take care of. And honestly, this is one of my favorite boss fights because, I mean, it's so creative on how you have to take this thing out. It's just unbelievably creative. Um, the, yeah, like, look how fast the guy went down. The beast is more powerful. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to charge up your beam when he sticks out his tongue. So that way he'll be stunned for a short period. So just stand there, go back, and then activate it. And he'll be stunned. Now, what I recommend, go into morph ball mode and activate bombs. Quickly get out and quickly go back in because he's stunned. But I forgot to do that. So I'll do that next time. But yeah, that's what you have to do to stun him. And uh, just wait for him to go again, dodge it, do it again, go into morph ball mode. But you can actually go there and do it really fast and like like go in and out and go really fast and you can get a lot of bombs under there. So have, having me to you know like stun him again. And what you want to do is you want to go back there and grab his tail and shoot his chest. And as you can see, that does a lot of damage. Honestly, I think that's so creative. Really, really, really creative. Like do this, and then you can actually stand under here and do it again. So that's one of the cool things we want to do about this boss and just do the same thing grapple's tail go into hyper mode and i'll stop talking because i want to get the full experience of this boss fight i'll see you after all right That was actually much shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, he's actually much harder on hyper mode. Believe me, he's much harder on hyper mode. Anyway, so yeah, we defeated Korak, Beast, Thing, rip off these space powered shields, and then just go into hyper mode and just blast away. Um, and they die instantly because they're so damn weak. And where did the other guy go? There, uh, there he is. I had no idea he had a jetpack. Well, now he's dead. Okay. Suck up the energy to get some health because you don't want to, you know, leave empty handed. Uh,. And I think this is the first, nope, this is, yeah, this is the, uh, I, I, I was going to say first boss for you not to get anything, but it's actually the third boss for you not to get anything, because first one was Berserker Lord, uh, you're pretty much, uh, present was just to leave, second one was Metal Ride, the prize was, you know, living, third one was Ronda's Ice Missile, and Korak, you know, just moving on. The next boss, you will do, you do get something, so don't feel that bad. Uh, so yeah. Uh, go over here, and you can actually get a save station, so it's really nice to save. Like I said, if you're as good as me, you don't have to save, but, uh, you know, you could always never be so t too sure, and I recommend saving, even if you're so pro MLG, but saving's always nice. And as you can see, Samus looks freaking amazing, and no, I don't mean she looks hot, I mean her armor looks kick-ass. Yeah, I'm actually, you know, I mean, I'll say one thing right now. I think there are really cool girls in video games that are hot, but I'd rather, I'm more of the guy that goes after, you know, girls that are actually living in real life. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, anime girls are cool and all, but I prefer the ones that are actually real. So, sorry for you people out there who love anime girls, but uh, I, I just prefer the real ones. And by real ones, I mean real people, not freaking made up characters. But is it just me, or is every single anime character hot? Or, like, the, like girls? Like, Japan is able to make them so attractive. I don't know how they do it. I mean, that could be just me, but honestly, that's how I feel. And, uh, you want to open up this thing and get a missile expansion. And I think that you go up to 50 now? 50? Yep, you have 50 now. 50, uh, you have a, uh... Maximum 50 at 49, and not to mention when you actually pick up a missile expansion, you your your maximum capacity goes up, but you also get an extra five in case you're missing. Something. There's always a price to pay for everything, isn't there? Samus, there are two anti-aircraft turrets protecting the generator. Your ship will not be able to get a clear shot while those guns are active. So, not only can our ship uh, destroy the generator because of those turrets, but now we have to go and hunt down 
those turrets and actually destroy them. Yes, both turrets. You're probably wondering, how can Samus destroy, you know, two uh, humongous turrets? Well, ah, that's the bright side because uh, we're going to have to do something to destroy it get, or, you know, get rid of those turrets. But um, if you look at the uh, generator, you can actually see your ship flying around and trying, you know, to activate it. Obviously, we can't do it because of those turrets. So, what's your number one goal? Obviously, is to get rid of those turrets. So now, what you want to do is, um, yeah, like when I was doing this gameplay, I actually didn't know what to do, and I was wondering because usually, the, like the side doors are supposed to open up, but they didn't open up. But what you want to do is you want to go back to that door, that one that's like right behind me. But at this time, I didn't know what to do, so I'm pretty much just wandering around for about a minute or so, which is why I'm talking right now, you know, to keep you guys entertained, not just seeing me walking around in a room for you know, circle, 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 circle. So, uh, yeah, like, see how it's just like those white, or not white things, like the blue thing, like, these things are supposed to open up, but they don't open up, I'm like, what the hell happened, I don't know, and I didn't know, when I went to watch, actually watch a video, and I'm like, oh, I have to go back to the area, this area, and then a cutscene rolls, like this one. You know, I'm kind of surprised on how every time Samus gets locked in, she's like, Oh my god, what happened? How come I got locked in? I'm like, Samus, you've been doing this bounty hunter stuff for a lot of years, and shouldn't this stuff, you know, like, shouldn't you be used to this kind of stuff, this kind of treatment? But obviously you're not, which is you know, kind of disappointed. Anyway, I just, you know, I mean, like, like to me, I find it kind of weird how she's like, Oh my god, I got locked in. Well, oh my god. I'm like, isn't it kind of obvious? People are trying to kill you every damn day. Anyway, so yeah, so what you want to do is charge up your power beam, and I think I say, w so what you want to do is too much, but yeah, you want to destroy those, uh, you want to destroy those, um, fuel tanks, just jump up there, kill these pirates with hyper mode, and rape their shit. Destroy this crate, get some extra health if you need it, like I said, if you're MLG like me, you don't need it, but, uh, you know, never be too sure, I mean, never be safe, I don't know what I even know, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Destroy crates, get some health. Always nice to get some health. The purple health gives you 10 energy. The uh, the um, red health gives you 20 or 30. I think it's 20. The uh, orange, yeah, the orange one gives you 50, and I believe the. Uh, Sorry, I got caught up by a cutscene. Anyway, uh, before I move on to what's going on here, I think that the blue, like, little uh, balls of health give you 100, or 60 to 100, I'm going to forget. Anyway, uh, so um, we're at the generator area, and what we have to do is take care of these pirates, and what you want to go is you want to go in the center of that generator, and uh, I think you want to activate something, but like I said, at this time, I had no idea what to do, because I thought, like, the little things on the doors, you know, opened up but they don't so yeah you want to go in the middle and grapple it I did not know that so I think I actually wander around this area for about five minutes seriously five minutes so I'm gonna shut up until I actually figure out what to do yeah I don't know what to talk about for five minutes so enjoy me wandering around and killing stuff with awesome music on enjoy <laughs> 